Right now, all Johnson & Johnson vaccines are on pause from the FDA. Fox 46's Destiny McKeever joins us live from Harris Teeter on South Tryon. Destiny, what is going to happen to people who already had a scheduled appointment? Paige, that is a great question. So that's the question that we've been asking all morning. And pretty much we just got off of the phone or off of a Zoom call, excuse me, with Novant Health. And they are saying the main thing to pass along to viewers is if you have an appointment for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, you're going to have to get with your provider right away and reschedule for either a Pfizer vaccine appointment or Moderna. Now take a look here. This is everything you'll need to know as it relates to this new Johnson & Johnson recall, if you will. We know this pause on shots came quickly this morning as the FDA and CDC say report service surfaced, excuse me, of six people in the U.S. experiencing blood clots and a result of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is where this came from. Although this is rare, top health officials are being cautious and several other counties already had issues with the Johnson & Johnson shot. So some leaders say this does not come as a surprise. Now the question is what's next? And here's what Dr. Williams from Novot Health had to say. We will continue to do the same things that we've done um, over the last uh, six months or so, uh, which is uh, to be transparent, to be honest, to provide fact-based information, to provide uh, accurate uh, uh, details, and to um, support the communities and individuals where they are in this whole um, spectrum of, of potential vaccine hesitancy. Now, you may remember back in December when the vaccine rolled out, providers in North Carolina were only giving the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. Johnson & Johnson came around later, so Novant doctors say they'll revert back to the original vaccination efforts that they had on board. In North Carolina, there is a total of 315,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in the state right now. And just over 174,000 shots have been given. And in South Carolina, more than 80,000 doses have been given there. If you have an appointment right now for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, again, your next steps would be to call your provider and reschedule your appointment for either a Pfizer or Moderna shot. Reporting live, I'm Destiny McKeever, Fox 46. And here are other locations providing the Johnson & Johnson vaccine around the Charlotte area. You see some of them are coming up as out of stock. You can look up the locations in your area by going to Vaccine Finder, then putting in your zip code. Again, you should call to get your shot rescheduled.